In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my favorite route combinations out of the bunch tight end. Bunch tight end is a really, really powerful offensive formation. I think it does a really good job of attacking both man coverage, zone coverage, really whatever they're running. We're in the Detroit playbook today. I've got a full bunch tight end ebook. You can get access to that by becoming a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to do so. You'll get all the ebooks that we've released all throughout the season, as well as any of the new ebooks that we'll be releasing while your membership is active. So for just 10 bucks, you kind of get an all all access pass to the Patreon. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. But the play is being bit over in the run-heavy playbook. I think it's called PAL Cross. But here's one of my uh, one of my favorite route combinations right now, uh, and and it's kind of a variation of a, a route combination that we saw really effective in bunch. Now, when you run this specific route very uh, a route combo, it's really important. You want to make sure that your bunch um, is to the wide side of the field. That is actually like. That's really, really important. Um, it's really, really helpful for, for utilizing this uh, specific concept, okay? So you want to have your bunch to the wide side of the field, okay? Because you want your tight end to the short side. Now the setup is we're gonna streak our tight end and then we're going to uh, slant route our left side receiver, motion him out. We're gonna snap the ball just before he sets his feet. And then you're gonna have really simple progressions all the way across the formation. It's essentially a, it's what I call a cross concept. Um, it's been good in Madden for years. There's been different variations depending on the formation that you're running. Um, you know, people run this out of PA read out a bunch. If you have slot apprentice or hybrid master, you can put this specific receiver on a slot apprentice post if they're running a little bit more man coverage. One of my favorite routes to beat man is this motioned out slant. Um, that's really one of the best routes on the play. And the reason um, is just because, like I said, it's really good at beating man coverage. And so, like, let's say, for example, that you're they're doing like a send five pressure. You also have play action blocking, which is really good for picking up a lot of the best blitzes this year. So you're able to block pretty much most blitzes. And then just the locomotion of that slant route, whether he has, um, like, I'm, I'm running against an inside shade, but he has short end. It doesn't even matter. Like, he's going to get separation on that slant, even if it's against an inside shade, uh, which is really, really, really good. The other thing about this is now the user is kind of forced to choose in the middle of the field. Who's he going to guard? Is he going to guard the crosser that's coming across, the shallow cross? Is he going to guard the slant? Is he going to guard the crosser or the deep crosser? Those are all questions. So you see here, he stays with the underneath crosser. I throw the over top crosser. And as you can see, this is really, really, really good at attacking man coverage. It's really hard to use or everything. Now, the best way to defend this will be to have some type of flat defender over in this pocket. And then with this defender, you're still kind of in no man's land. Really, you want to have like a vertical hook here. Um, we're still in a drop eight coverage and then they're going to have to use with a crosser um, over the middle of the field. That's really the best way to, to guard this. Um, but if you take a look here on the left side, you could throw this slant before he gets to the vert hook. And again, I'm rocking inside shade on Cromartie. It's got all the KOs known to man. Like it's it's just open. Okay. So really good, uh, really, really, really good play for attacking the blitz as well as just attacking really any coverage in the game. The other thing about this is this is going to do a really good job of attacking any zone coverage because that tight end, because we're running this to the short side of the field, the tight end is going to be able to clear out the outside third. If we were running this with our bunch to the short side of the field, then we would it wouldn't work properly. Okay, um, this is all. So what they're going to basically have to do, if you think about it, is they're going to have to have really deep cloud flats, and they're also going to have to have really shallow flats. So they're going to have to double flat you. But the beauty of this crosser is it gets pretty deep down the field, as you can see right there. It gets about thirty yards of depth down the field. So now, if you think about it, not they're going to have to be in a true double Mabel setting, uh, and they're going to have to have to they're going to have to have both flat zones so what this does is it leaves them vulnerable over the top which i'm going to come back to in just a second with an alternate setup that looks very similar to this um you know but you see right here you know just run this just like this and as you can see that is still going to get over the top so they're going to have to really drop those flats back now this is also going to give you a ton of time to pass the ball in case they actually did that so you know let's say they do they give you a coverage looks something like this now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this deep post that barry's on we're going to uh streak cromartie 
and we're going to do a slant post in the middle of the field. So you see this looks for the most part kind of similar um, or just like a slight variation of this play. But now if they're in cover two, you're going to see that this deep post route is going to get behind that deep half and you're able to attack cover two in that way. Um, so you see how this play can really be helpful for doing that. Another quick tip um, that you can utilize is you can also, if you know it's cover two, like if it's not cover three and you still want to try to bomb over the top, you could do it just like this where you have this corner route to pull the deep half defender. This guy's kind of more, I mean, he's just kind of a, I would probably put him on a slot apprentice post, you know, but something like this. And then what you'll see is now these guys are really, now the middle is really going to part. And as you can see, that's just going to get open. I just got to get in the ball, but he's wide open up the seam. So that's a way that you can kind of catch them sleeping if they are running like a true uh, double Mabel defense. So now what they have to do is they have to drop a middle third defender. And now that they have to drop a middle third defender, it gets even harder to stop this play because now um, you can throw this, you have a lot of windows, so you can throw the slant right over in that little pocket against the double Mabel coverage. This is one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden, uh, year in and year out. You can do it from a lot of different formations. It's not just something that you can do from bunch tight in. And I'm, I mean, but the fact that you have this really nice shallow cross route and you can do this in a quick, like it's pretty quick snappable. Like I only need to make two adjustments and I'm able to basically be motioning and snapping the ball. It makes this a really powerful play, and it's very good for attacking the man-to-man -man meta. I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you want to get my entire Bunch Tight End offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just ten bucks. You'll get access to all of the ebooks in the Patreon, as well as any of the new stuff that we drop while uh, you are a member. So make sure you sign up for that today. Ten bucks gets you access to everything.